Let's go over care. As I said, Council on American Islamic Relations. Let's just seriously, let's just flat out re review their name. Council on American Islamic Relations. So by that name itself, I would say we have every right to say that Islamic societies and communities are not here to simulate with American life because apparently there's a need for Council of American Islamic Relations. But again, that's just me. I don't like to um, highlight religion. Um, I don't like to highlight separation, borders, and division. But as we all know, Islam loves division. As the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, said, divide and conquer. So, not surprised there. But, um, Care is best known, the most famous, uh, mark that they tried so hard to clean it up, but it's impossible. They are an official unindicted co-conspirators of the Holy Land Foundation trial. Unindicted. Named. Even though they did so many lawsuits and they tried and they did protest and did their very best with millions they have to get rid of this, but well, it is public record. It is out there and they couldn't thankfully get rid of it. Now, in 2009, I'll have to read this because it's a little uh, hard for me to memorize, but in July 1st, 2009, U.S. District Court Judge George Solis announced that there is more than enough hard evidence to link care to Hamas. Now, it was sealed. This court was sealed. The entire trial was sealed. But in 2010, it finally was unsealed. So it is public record again. All you need to look is Hamas, uh, uh, it's a care linked to Hamas court 2009. The entire thing will come up. You can read it. I don't have the time to read through all of it, but a U.S. District Court judge announced and had a judgment that there is a link, direct link between care and Hamas. So pretty simple. Care is a pro-Sharia, pro-Jihad, pro-Islam and pro-terrorist group. They have a giant group of civil lawyers, civil rights lawyers, who are literally hired to sit there all day long and wait for someone from Muslim community to call them and say, somebody looked at me the wrong way because I was a Muslim. And here we go, a lawsuit. Uh, if you look at their website, if you go to Kara's website, you'll see they actually have a form for Muslims to fill in, send in, so they can go and sue a non-Muslim. If you don't call that division, I don't know what you call it. I call it division. Um, and I call it non-Muslim phobia. I mean, this is a free country. This is America. We have the First Amendment. I, I, why do you have a group of lawyers sitting, standing by to... Um, literally make lawsuits because somebody made fun of Muhammad or said something wrong about Islam, whatever. 